Hi friends, this is Sri Ramulu. Today's topic is a proportional counter. Right, proportional counter consists of a cylindrical metal chamber with a thin wire situated along its axis and insulated from it. Okay, here there is a one metal chamber, and inside the metal chamber. metal chamber is having the shape is cylindrical shape and a metal chamber contains a central wire see this is a central wire and this central wire is a uh, insulated from metal chamber so that means uh, there is no connection between this uh, central wire and uh, this chamber so that is the meaning of insulated okay so that is why these things are given in the diagram and next the wire is uh, connected to the positive terminal of the high tension battery and uh, serves as a collecting electrode so this collecting electrode is called anode okay wire is connected to the positive terminal of high tension battery so which wire central wire central wire is connected to the positive terminal of the battery see here so this is central wire and it is connected to the positive terminal of the battery through resistor or the negative terminal of the high tension battery is connected to the chamber chamber can act as a cathode that is shown in figure see uh, this negative terminal is connected to what this chamber chamber is a metallic chamber and shape is cylindrical shape a high resistance r is connected in the battery circuit see there is a high resistance it is that is connected in the circuit the wire is connected to pulse amplifier and a counting circuit so central wire is connected to the pulse amplifier and counter so this central wire is connected arrow mark is shown that means this side amplifier and after amplifier one device is there that device is called counter counter can count the number of pulses how many how many particles are coming through the resistor or the cylindrical tube is also provided with a window so that charged particles and ionizing radiations can enter inside it so here there is a one window so this is a window through this window what happens charged particles such as alpha particles and radiations enter and these charged particles or radiations can ionize the gas is present inside this cylindrical tube the chamber is filled with a gas like methane argon carbon dioxide or a mixture of suitable gases for a particular purpose at the suitable atmospheric pressures here the pressure is also important okay so pressure we must keep a uh, 1 atm and the gases are methane argon carbon dioxide or their mixture okay so uh, this tube may contain these gases the proportional counter functions at the voltage 500 to 800 volts are above and the pressure at 1 atm so pressure must uh, at one atmosphere only it must work at one atmosphere the positive ions moves to to the chamber while the negative ions moves towards the central wire central wire is anode okay and a chamber is a cathode just now i explained you now extremely short uh, current flows or a pulse passes through high resistance are which develops a voltage across it okay so generally when a current is passing when the electrons are passing through the wire and uh, as well as through the resistor or at this point what happens they drop or uh, develop a voltage voltage that voltage can appear in the form of a pulse small pulse pulse means like this or like this so that will be developed where at r now 
when applied voltage is low ions recombines uh, before reaching the central wire and hence current is small so it is a cylindrical tube containing central wire right so central wire uh, act as a anode and uh, this uh, chamber can act as cathode here the window is provided and gases uh, uh, ionized gases can passes through the window and they can ionize the gas which is present inside the gas inside the tube and then the gas uh, molecules can be or atoms can be separated like this uh, plus ions and minus and cation and anion okay but when there is no capacity of this central wire to attract these uh, negative ions then these two ions again re recombine they combine and they forms a neutral atom right so that is the meaning of this okay then small current will be for okay but when voltage is increased more and more ion reach ions reach the central wire and the current increases right so central wire so this is a central wire so when its voltage is increased means when it is more positive that is the meaning of this then it is ready to attract the negatives means electrons then electron starts of flowing through the resistor okay and then here they develop what they develop a voltage okay they develop voltage here okay when all the ions are collected by central electrodes the current reaches a saturation so okay so here how many inside it how many atoms are separated means are converted into ions if the all the ions are these ions are attracted by the chamber and these ions are attracted by the anode means central wire then it uh, when it is more positive then all the electrons how many they are creating all the electron can it attract and uh, it allows a current through the resistor the high resistance then what happens maximum current flows that maximum current generally we call saturation current so that is the meaning of saturation so here the saturation will be like this this is the saturation at the beginning current increases and the later maximum so all the electrons it reaches even though voltage is increases current cannot increases it shows like this that is the region 2 in the region 2 next when voltage is further increased the ions, ions gain sufficient kinetic energy to produce secondary electron by the collision with the atoms of the gas okay so when again voltage increases then what happens so here inside the it is a nucleus and a nucleus are producing the beta particle and alpha particle so then uh, high voltage are there so this uh, nucleus uh, from uh, this nucleus uh, cannot disintegrate okay so when high voltage is applied then the electron which present in the cells such as k l m and n cells n cells then uh, high voltage can attract the electron which present in the in these cells then these electrons are called secondary electrons okay secondary electrons means electrons from the k element cells are called secondary electrons okay so these electrons are attracted by the central wire and central wire can show some more current okay ladder current increases how the voltage increases ladder current also increases that is called proportionality so that is the reason this one so when the current uh, voltage increases current also increases so that means voltage and current what is happening here they are proportional to each other okay when the voltage is further increased ion gains sufficient uh, kinetic energy to produce secondary electrons uh, by the collisions with the atoms of the gas atom it is a gas atom okay so contain the electron in their cells uh, like k l m n cells when the ions inside ions which are coming inside through the window they can knock they can collide with the electron which present in 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 k element cells so then these electron come outside 
so coming outside electron scar secondary electron and secondary electron can form this uh, graph so this is a proportional region so proportional region means how the voltage is increases current also increases so that is it is a proportional region see the proportional region it is a proportional region okay so voltage is and this side is current Uh, in this case current would be large for a given applied voltage the current is uh, proportional to the number of primary ions and produces by incoming charge particle counter now works as a proportional counter so okay so how the voltage is increases current also increases so that means uh, these two are the proportionality okay then uh, this counter can act as a proportional counter this shows by the region 3 so this is the region 3 every incoming charge of particles produces one voltage pulse across the resistance which is amplified by the amplifier and passed to the counter here so uh, already we know the diagram so this is the diagram and is a central wire central wire is connected to the it is shown like this arrow mark that means it is connected to the amplifier and as well as counter so here resistance when the current passes through the central wire that uh, develops uh, uh, a pulse across the r so that is a pulse means like this and when this pulse is given to the amplifier amplifier can make it into big pulse so this big pulse can be counted by the counter so like this uh, electrons are counted or particles are counted okay once again listen this is shown by the region 3 every incoming charge particles produces one voltage pulse so one voltage pulse it produces across the resistance which is amplified again it is what is it is given to the amplifier it is amplified like this by the amplifier and pa pass to the counter so it is given to the counter then the counter can count number of particles can be counted so this is a proportionality counter so don't forget watching this video till the end and sharing this video okay friends